I said love my families and friends welcome to my channel once more thanks for joining me and this Sunday morning I pray all is well with you and your family and you are blessed being at home or wherever you might be today is another day where I'll be doing another vlog for you in the kitchen and here I'll be doing some fish I have three lovely fish here And I just soak in them in a little vinegar. I'm going to wash them down. First, as I lay this aside, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. Here are my ingredients. I have some okros. And I have my garlic. I have my sweet pepper. I have my onion. And I have some thyme over here. And over here, I have... And over here, I have some parsley. Here, I have some um, premium fish sauce, Saya, that's what they call it. It's an excellent sauce, it's a fish all-purpose sauce. And I also have me some lemon pepper, I have me some crushed garlic, and I have some Old Bay season. I know these are mostly fish season, this is fish season definitely, right here. I have me some sesame oil because I'm going to use it to steam down some pop choy that I have here. I have some lovely pop choy here I have in the fridge and I'm just going to use them out. And um, now I also got to use some cayenne pepper and this is going to be used for the fish. So now guys. I'm not the rice person. Sometimes I'll eat a little rice, but I try to stay away as much. Now for this month, I promise I, I want to go on a low carb diet. So today is the 1st of November. And for you who are interested, you could join me on this journey because this is what I'll be doing. I'm going to be changing up my menu. Anyhow, here I have some green giant rice veggie. It's a cauliflower rice. And I'm just going to prepare it today with some mixed vegetable. So this is what I'm going to use to, to eat with my meal. I'm just going to prepare the cauliflower with some mixed vegetable. And that is a healthy low carbs diet because I'm trying to take in some low carbs for this month. You know, December is my birth month. And so I'm preparing myself for my special day. So... This is my cauliflower rice. I'm not only for a special day because health-wise I'm just trying to be healthy. I'm just trying. I'm not doing a diet. Honestly, I'm not. I'm just changing my lifestyle, the way I eat. Um, I've done it before and I'm trying to do it again. So guys, I'm inviting you to take this um, journey along with me because this is my life journey that I'm going through. So here I have some balsamic um, vinegar. And I also for juice. This is what I'm going to have for my drinks this evening. I have three beetroot, I have a lemon, and I have a ginger. You don't have to sweeten it, guys. You don't have to because normally sometimes, honestly, the ginger and the lemon already bring out a, a flavor in it. But however, I'm going to be using just two tablespoons of um, organic agave. And the agave is good. It's a replacement for sugar and honey. It's the best. Agave is the best guys. So you can try it. Some people say they don't really like the little taste. Give a little but not much. It's not really bad. Because sometimes the medication that we have to take is worse off than take. You understand what I'm saying? So if you can go ahead and drink it without it even better. But if you do want to have a little taste to it even more, you can try the agave. So that was gonna be my drink. So right now guys, I'm just gonna season my fish and I'm just gonna wash it down and then Stay tuned as I show you how I season and prepare my fish, okay? I'm just cutting up some herbs and season up my fish now. I already wash it down. So I'm just gonna season it for a while. Just for a couple minutes. I love a lot of herbs. So 
So what I'm gonna do, guys, after I season them, um, I don't. Want, I'm not doing a steam fish. I'm doing a brown straw fish. Um, and my brown straw fish, you know, um, everybody really cook totally different. Um, that doesn't mean you can't cook because, to be honest, culture is culture. Um, I don't know about some other places, but I can tell you, since I've been here in the Bahamas here, um, if I'm at work and I'm doing it, then I'm going to do it sometimes the way that they um, normally cook it. But um, they, uh, in the Bahamas, how they do brown stew fish, um, they will put the flour. I'm not laughing, it's a culture. Um, to brown. It's like they, 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 they parch the flour. They parch it and stir it up and then cook it down like and you steam down the fish in it. It's just the way that they do it. However, I don't do it like that. Here I have my little flour right here. And I'm just gonna season, put a little black pepper and like a stuff in the in, in the in the flour. And I'm just gonna flour my fish and fry my fish. And then after I fry it here, I have some cayenne pepper. So I just got to fry it a little. Um, I'm not going to use the, the sesame seed oil to do it. I'm going to use the regular um, oil, some vegetable oil to fry it. Whereas this child here, she don't eat certain things, but if certain how to fry it, what? Anyhow. I do rather to use the oil to fry it and then pour off the oil and then make my gravy. Yeah, I use, I also got to use some lemon pepper, not too much, but lemon pepper go well with fish. This is some all bay season, I'm just seasoning up with a little. I'm going to put the black pepper into the flour because I have some pepper here that I'm going to use into this also. I'm not going to put the thyme in it as yet. I don't want it in it. But what I do got to put into it is some pepper. Yes, guys. Some, you know, these pepper, we call them bird pepper back home. And they're excellent for take high blood pressure too, you know. So if you have a high blood pressure, you can take it. Did you know this one make cayenne pepper? No wonder cayenne pepper is really good for you, you know, because bird pepper is good for you. What do I call it again? Bell pepper, I think is another name for it is um, bell pepper. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to set this aside for a while and let this um, just marinate a little. And then I think one more thing, I just got to put a little bully in because I'm not using no salt. Yeah. No salt, just little because it's already salt. So you don't need no salt for this because this um this season already is salty. So you don't need any season for it. No salt. That's for me. I don't know if that worked for you. I already did I thought I'd core this fish for this season. My knife kinda of dull. Yeah, so I could rub in this season into it. Yeah. So I'm just gonna cover it and let it set for a while and then I'm gonna start to fry these after and start cutting up my pop choy. So stay tuned as you see as I go along. No, you don't have to throw away these little parts here, you can steam. Still I rather color low. To be honest, I do rather color low than the pop choy. But I do need pop choy. Already washed them. Just the season.
you know when I just curl it, steam it with all those parts and it gives a little punch and guys I used it to make some juice the other day it was excellent yeah it was excellent guys So guys, I put a little garlic butter in the pot and I pour in my um, cauliflower. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to pour in, you have in a little mixed vegetable, but that's not enough for me. So I'm going to pour some mixed vegetable on top of that. So I'm just going to put some more mixed vegetable and I'm just going to stir it in. I'm going to cut up a piece of onion and I'm just going to let it kind of let a, um stir fry up. Normally I could do it with shrimp but um, I'm not going to use any shrimp. I'm just going to have this with some pop choy and some um, some pop choy with some okra steamed down. So I'm just going to put a little onion to season with this and sprinkle a little I'm not going to use any salt I don't want any salt either I already use a garlic butter but you can season to how you want it so all I'm going to put into this I'm just going to cut up an onion um, put a piece of onion and then I put a little crushed garlic and then I just got to just um, do it just like that with a little chicken bullion for the salt and then that's it my heart is over there now and I'm just going to Flour the fish now and put it in to start to fry. Stay tuned, guys. Guys, you must make sure that your the, the, the oil is hot. Make sure the oil is hot. Yeah, this could have been a little bigger. The fish is browning perfectly. And here, look at this guys, I put a piece of thyme and I have onion in it. You can season it all you want. As soon as you get the flavor of the, of the thyme, you will just pick up about this thyme. See guys, you can just pick them out if you don't want to have them in, which is fine to take them out. But it's just for flavor. And as you see guys, this is my cauliflower rice. A mixed vegetable. They put a little mixed vegetable in it, but uh, that don't cut any that. Just a little bit. So you know, you put the amount of which vegetable that you desire, or if you want to cook it with shrimp or whatever you want. So this is my rice. So this is my cauliflower rice. So this is like a garden rice, but only it's a garden cauliflower rice, guys. So. I just continue showing you as I go along. So my cauliflower rice is now finished with my, my vegetable. And now I'm finished frying the last set of the fish. So now I'm just going to hurry up and make my juice so I could put it in the freezer to go and chill. So that as soon as it's finished I can do with the pop choy and the, the okra. So stay tuned. making my beetroot and ginger juice. And you all know that beetroot is good for you, you know, it, it um, bring up your blood level and um, beetroot is also a nice Beets, you can make it with carrot to make a lovely juice. Beetroot and carrot juice with milk. Oh my, off the chain. I'm 
just gotta strain this out now and just squeeze my lemon, take a look at agave, and put it in the cooler. So, say hi. Say hi, Malikai. I pour off the oil and I'm just going to stir fry down the, the pop chop and the okra in the same pot so you know all the season just go to incorporate into the the pop choy and the okros you don't want it to be well steamed very too soft and soggy but you still want it to be soft enough but yet still crunchy into my pop choy and I'm also going to pour just a little bit of vinegar here you have it my finishing touch of my brown stew fish steamed down with some okra and I have some pop choy. I'm just going to finish it off with some parsley on top and that's the finishing touch. So I'm just going to turn it off and that's it guys. You just need a little lemon lime on top and that's the final. So all the best guys remember to like share and subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell because whenever time I post a video we'll always be notified. Until then remember peace, peace, love over it every time. All the best. Thanks for joining me on my channel. Until then, your girl Leah. Peace out.